Colorado Springs is a city in mourning. The latest episode of gun violence in the U.S. has come to the doorstep of these residents of Colorado's second largest city. It's like, wow, this is not just on the news, this is on our street. Within hours of the crime, the sidewalk outside the scene of the shooting began filling with flowers as people arrived to pay their respects to the victims. Active shooter, 23430 North Academy Boulevard, Club Q, all units respond, Command 4. It was three minutes before midnight on Saturday when the emergency call came in. A man had just entered Club Q, a gay nightclub, and immediately started firing. Um, I was on the dance floor when the shooting occurred. I heard four to five shots ring out. I thought it was a part of the music, so I kept dancing. Another burst of gunfire sent Joshua Thurman running for cover. There was chaos. Several club patrons sprang into action. While the suspect was inside of the club, at least two heroic people inside the club confronted and fought with the suspect and were able to stop, stop the suspect from continuing to kill. By grabbing a gun from the suspect, authorities say, hitting him with it and pinning him to the ground. Scores of people were struck by bullets. There were bodies on the ground, blood everywhere. 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldridge was taken into police custody. He faces five counts of murder and five counts of bias-motivated crime. Two weapons, including a long gun, were recovered at the scene. A motive for the rampage remains unclear. Shock spread quickly through the city's LGBTQ community. Many have no doubt that hate spurred this crime. It could have been me, it could have been my friends, and I'm just running through my mind of the victims. I'm running through the mind of it could have been myself. The club was a refuge for them until Saturday. The one safe space we had in the city of Springs has now been taken away from us. This is where we could come and be ourselves, no judgment. Just so few places in the community where we can feel safe and accepted for who we are. Change is overdue, some said. Not a new refrain after these types of attacks. Getting sick of laying flowers and talking about gun control and some of the old kind of tired arguments right now. Colorado is grieving after yet another shooting. Yet more anger, yet more tears. We're so much better than this. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.